A very good morning to all the dignitaries, conveners, organizing members, teachers, and most importantly, to all the participants. Myself, Chetna Roshan Kolvekar, welcome you all to one day international webinar on research methodology and quality research publication, jointly organized by Internal Quality Assurance Cell, IQAC, and Research and Development Cell. Our institution, Government Arts and Science College Karwar is located in a state called the land of sandalwood. Karwar, the Kashmir of Karnataka, is a seaside city, taluka, and administrative headquarters of Uttar Kannada district, lying at the mouth of Ali River on the Kanara coast of Karnataka state. Our institution was established in the year 1961 as Keshava Gajanana Submiss College under a private management. Presently, our college has credential as one of the premier and oldest government colleges of Uttar Kannada district. The institution is affiliated to Karnatak University Dharwad, running degree courses in science, arts, commerce, management, and presently has an extra crown of being a PG center for Canada, industrial chemistry and zoology. The college also hosts a study center of Karnataka State Open University, Mesur. Being recognized by UGC under section 12 clause B and 2F clause, the institution ensures quality education and promotes research activities in almost all the disciplines among faculties and students. UGC has conferred autonomous status to our college in 2015. Our college sets a record of being the first autonomous college, government college, and not only in the district, but also in Uttar Kannada district. Now, I would like to request Dr. Mahindra Sir, Associate Professor of Biotechnology, research and development cell coordinator to give us introductory speech and welcome the dignitaries. Good morning. A warm greeting to all of you, distinguished uh, delegates, ladies and gentlemen, across all the time zone. I am Dr. Mahendra Kumar. Cordially invite you and I'll welcome you all for this one day international webinar on research methodology and uh, uh, quality publication. Firstly, I would like to thank the experts for taking the time, uh, for taking their precious time out and making this event. Secondly, I would like to thank all my audience for being present here today. I feel extremely glad to welcome everyone to this much awaited webinar on research methodology and uh, quality publications. Today's event, promises an engaging and enlightening experience for all of us. Let's open our mind and heart to new ideas as we come together to learn about the advances and now a new avenues of research methodology. And also improve our ability to publish our findings in very good and reputed journals. I would like to warmly welcome our guest speaker, Dr. Naveen Kumar SK, a postdoctoral fellow, Department of Internal Medicine, uh, Michigan University, USA. 
to this event who have generously agreed to share his expertise with us i welcome you dr navin kumar sir now i would like to welcome professor uh, uh, dr uh, kumar swami be department of industrial chemistry who agreed to talk on research methodology uh, his expertise will be very useful for our young researchers uh, i welcome you sir for this webinar uh, we have an excellent uh, lineup in the afternoon session also as our one of our research person like dr habib ul rahman assistant professor college of uh, uh, business administration kingdom university bahrain he will be taking us to the importance of quality publications and how to go about it i cordially welcome you sir for this webinar i would like to take this opportunity to welcome our in charge principal professor uh, geeta walikarman and also our principal uh, uh, professor vidya naik i would like to welcome uh, dr mohammad fayas uh, coordinator of iqsc and dr prabhakara mc the coordinator of rusa for college for this uh, webinar sir and i would like to welcome the member of iqsc uh, a research and development cell and also the staff and students of our college once again uh, i would welcome all the participant across the state country and uh, people across the globe for this uh, uh, webinar and wishing you all the great uh, resourceful day ahead thank you now i would request dr thank you mahendra sir now i would request dr jyoti kini assistant professor of industrial chemistry to give us a brief introduction of keynote addressee dr navin kumar sk good morning ladies and gentlemen esteemed participants and honored guests it is with great pleasure i am before you today to introduce our distinguished keynote speaker dr navin kumar sk for today's international webinar this event has brought together minds from across the globe to engage in meaningful exchange of ideas insights and experiences that are bound to shape the future of research methodology our keynote speaker is a luminary in the field of research in biochemistry and medicinal field a visionary who has not only demonstrated exceptional expertise in biochemistry but has also consistently pushed the boundaries of knowledge and innovation dr navin kumar sk completed his phd in biochemistry from the manasagangotri mysore university under the eminent guidance of professor k kempadaji 
After the completion of doctoral degree, Dr. Navin Kumar SK took up the postdoctoral research in one of the topmost institutes, Indian Institute of Science, Bengaluru, in the Department of Chemistry, and was one of the favorites of his guide, Professor G. Mugesh Sir. With an illustrious career of three fruitful years, our speaker has won accord and recognition for his pioneering research. He was awarded the most prestigious SERB Award, National Postdoctoral Fellowship, which is given for motivating the young researchers and is given for his dedication to the advancement of research in the field of biochemistry. He has not only elevated the discipline, but also served as an inspiration to aspiring professionals worldwide. Dr. Naveen Kumar Iske, in this short span of time, has authored more than 25 peer-reviewed publications, which have received more than 750 citations. The speaker of today is currently working as postdoctoral fellow in the Department of Internal Medicine, Rheumatology Division, University of Michigan, USA. Today, we are fortunate to have Dr. Naveen Kumar SK with us to share his insights on research methodology, shedding light on the most pertinent issues, emerging trends, and potential opportunities that lie ahead. As we engage in this virtual gathering, let us embrace the knowledge and wisdom that our keynote speaker is about to impart. His expertise will undoubtedly ignite thought-provoking thought discussions, foster new collaborations, and propel us towards a brighter future. So without much ado, I invite you all to lend your ears and minds to the words of Dr. Naveen Kumar Eskiri, a true visionary, and a big one of knowledge in the field of research. Please join me in giving him a warm virtual welcome. Now, I invite Dr. Naveen Kumar SK, sir, to take the virtual stage to share his invaluable insights with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Am I audible now? Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, thank you so much. That's a lot for me. <laughs> Thanks for that nice introduction. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Once again, I'm welcoming you all for this webinar. So as this webinar titled with uh, research methodology and a quality research publication, I would like to briefly define what is uh, research and its methodology. So uh, research is a uh, formalized curiosity, as we know, on any surface, like any source we can take which can systematically study to establish a facts and to make a new conclusions. When it comes to the uh, research methodology, it is a specific procedure or like techniques used to identify, select, process, and analyze information about a topic. So importantly, it follows a scientific investigation of principles. When I say, that so because a research always goes wrong when it misconduct or misinterpreted or without a proper objectives so very importantly there are certain mandatory things we should consider while doing the research process like we should we should not include a personal feelings or beliefs while doing the research and also so and uh, the second thing is that the confidentiality and data access and sharing and third is the validity and reliability of data and the fourth most important part is the ethical issues there are different stages in research methodology like clarifying a topic so if you take the topic you should have the overall a clarity of that particular topic and the reviewing the up-to-date the literature for example if you know the background of it like knowing all the details or what you are doing what you are going to prove or what you are 
going to build your ideas. So that is important. And designing and conduct the research. That means the designing of the experiment are like doing what you what you are going to do exactly. So that designing part is very important. And then conducting the research part, like conducting, doing the experiment, collecting the data and analyzing the data. And the most important part is that the final writing up in a clear, acceptable uh, format. In the research, like scientific community, we have a, a separate set of formats that we are following in, in it's, it's an acceptable format for all the researchers. So the next question is, do we need to publish our research findings? Yes, we do. Because by making your finding available to the public, that helps in evaluating the quality of the research, not only helpful for the research community, but also to our society. Therefore, researchers have the responsibility to ensure their publications are honest, clear, accurate, and complete. And there should be, there should be no uh, confusion in that. And they, they should be, uh, avoid of uh, a misleading and uh, what you can say we can say unclear reporting so a good researcher or scientist should be honest skillful dedicated high and hard worker yeah of course so for example in my case so i was an average student after completing my uh, masters in biochemistry i got a lot of interest in doing research and and i'm committed to continue in the research field. During my uh, doctoral studies, I was working on uh, blood cells, particularly uh, platelets and uh, neutrophils, which are uh, very important uh, blood cells, as we know, like it is very helpful, like very essential for the innate immunity and uh, hemostasis and uh, thrombosis. So during the doctoral uh, period, uh, we found a few key events which are related to the activation of these uh, two cells during uh, hemolytic disorders and uh, snake bite conditions. So we got a uh, good recognition for that in the scientific community. So now uh, actually I'm working on uh, autoimmune disease such as uh, uh, antiphospholipid syndrome, especially with this uh, type of patients, they will have a lot of internal clots due to the excess activation or so non-conditional activation of this uh, blood cells. So here I'm trying to find the interplay between these uh, two cells like neutrophils and uh, ne no, platelets in the presence of uh, auto antibodies. That means the auto reactive, a uh, self reactive antibodies in this condition. So uh, yeah, with this, I, 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 I can say for students, I can say that this is the right time to you to decide the way uh, you develop your career and a uh, selection of right path. So I have only this few uh, few words for you. So finally, I would like to thank uh, Dr. C. Uh, Mahendra Kumar for giving this opportunity to speak on this webinar at least for a few minutes. I hope by the end of the day, uh, you definitely get some clear picture of uh, various uh, research methodology and importance of the quality publications. So because uh, the upcoming uh, speakers are very good, I've seen. So so all the best. So thank you so much. And uh, thank you all. That's all. Thank you, Dr. Navin Kumar Iske, for sharing his valuable insights about the research and what steps needs to be followed while doing the research and what are the good qualities that a researcher should have. Thank you, sir. 
Now I would request Dr. Prabhakar, Assistant Professor and Rusa Coordinator of Industrial Chemistry to give us a brief introduction of the technical session one speaker, Professor B. E. Kumar Swam. So once again, I welcome all the participants and delegates to this international webinar on research methodology and quality research communication. So I am Dr. M.C. Prabhakar, Assistant Professor of Industrial Chemistry of uh, Government Arts and Science College, Karwa. So I have a great opportunity to introduce the speaker of the technical session one, who is my teacher, my well-wisher, Dr. B. Kumar Swami, sir, Professor of Industrial Chemistry, Home to University, Shankaragata, Shumoga. So, Dr. B. Kumar Swami has finished his MSc in Industrial Chemistry from Home to University with first rank in 1997, and he received Professor M.R. Gajendragar gold medal in the same year. Soon after the completion of his MSc degree, he joined as a guest teacher in the same department and passed NET examination in the same year. So during his MSc, he carried out a project work. In that project work, he published one paper in the Asian Journal of Chemistry when he was a student. And later, he joined to PhD program in 1919 under the guidance of Professor B. S. Sheregara, former Vice Chancellor and former Professor of Industrial Chemistry on the topic cyclic voltammetry. In the year 2000, he received Young Scientist Award from Indian Council of Chemists in Physical Oral Section and in 2012, once again, he received Young Scientist Award from 22nd Swadeshi Science Congress at Kerala. He underwent training program at BARC, that is Baba Atomic Research Center, Mumbai, in electro analytical Techniques. He received PhD program in 2002 in the Department of Industrial Chemistry, Columbia University, and immediately selected as National Science Foundation Fellowship as Postdoctoral Research Associate in Southern Methodist University, Dallas, Texas, USA, out of 300 applications. He worked as postdoctoral fellow from 2000, January 2003 to January 2006, and joined as research associate in University of Virginia, USA, from February 2006 to uh, December 2006, under Jefferson Memorial Trust Award. He joined as assistant professor in December uh, 18, uh, 2006, to Department of Industrial Chemistry, Columbia University. One of his research work carried out at the University of Virginia of nanotubes on nanotubes was highlighted in the chemical technology. In his research endeavors, he has got H index of 51 and I10 index is 224 and the citations were 9,249. Because of his outstanding contribution in the field of chemical sensors, he received international award that is Professor Debitorius Nicolis on 2015. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Lifetime National Achievement Award by Christ Foundation Bangalore in 2016 and Outstanding Scientist Award from uh, Distinguished Scientist Award International Conference on Advances in Science and Engineering at East West Institute of Technology Bangalore in 2017. He received four projects from different funding agencies like uh, DST, NRB and uh, UGC as investigator as well as co-investigator. So, he also served as coordinator for MTech in nanoscience and technology from DST Nano Mission. He published 348 research papers in international and national peer journals and delivered more than 60 invited talks in national and international conferences. His research work was referred in so many international and national textbooks. So at present, he has guided 24 PhD students for their PhD degree and included one foreign student and five PhD as co-supervisor and three MPs. Currently, six members or six research scholars are working under his guidance for their PhD program. His research areas are development of chemical sensor from some, uh, for some nanotransmitters, biosensors, nanosensors, and electrochemical sensors. He is an associate editor in chemical sensors, world research journal of analytical chemistry, and guest editor in special special issue on nanoparticle and cancer treatment 
and academic editor in Journal of Chemistry in, published by Hindavi. So because of his contribution in the field of nanotechnology, he was invited as American Nanochemist Society member and it is not open for all the researchers. He is a referee for many international peer-reviewed journals and reviewer for many international journals also. He was worked as assistant director to Prasaranga Guam University. Under this banner, some popularized lectures are also delivered in colleges and public auditorium. In his credit, he has one Indian patent published in 2022 and US-based Stanford University has recently released a list of represents the top 2% of the most cited scientists in various disciplines. Professor B. Kumarsamy name was cited in the top 2% of the most cited scientists in the world in energy section in the year 2021 and 2122. He is a member of BOE, chairman of BOE and BOE chairman in industry chemistry and worked as consultancy service to a Mysore paper mix Badravati during 2002-2002. He also served as placement officer in industrial chemistry, industrial chemical society secretary, conducted four national conferences as co-convener and coordinator for three days crash course in basic chemical calculations. He served as the deputy register in the development section of Home University from 2015 to 2020, and also served as deputy director in IQAC Home University and worked as NAC as the DVB member for external expert and other important assignments in NAC. Government of India from February 2019. Presently, he is working as the chairman of the Department of Industrial Chemistry, Co op University, and special officer, officer to the vice chancellor of Co op University. With this brief introduction, I would like to invite Dr. V. Kumar Swami, sir, Professor, Department of Industrial Chemistry, Co op University, to deliver his talk. Sir, you are welcome, sir. Yeah, I am audible now. Hello. Yes, sir, you are audible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So thank you very much, uh, Prabhakar. A nice introduction. And I'm happy to be part of your webinar. So the, see, the thing is that uh, some institutes are, are hosting a webinar. That means they are finding alternative methods. So when you want to discuss about the research, okay? So normally what happens like universities, like, you know, like state university and then some colleges and everything, uh, the principal or a vice chancellor will call all faculty members to the chamber or something like a meeting when the NAC people will come. Because the NAC, what happens, they're periodically analyzing, you know, like accrediting the institute. But the thing is that if you are doing only for the purpose of NAC or only the purpose of something, that is not the real research. The research means what, you know, it should like, it comes from the heart and it's like a passion. See, normally what happens, you know, when I ask to anybody, what is the meaning of a research? People will define the research in uh, many terms. It depends upon their background. Say for example, when I was in the US, when I published one paper, still I remember, I was so happy because uh, publishing a paper after going to postdoc, maybe Navin Kumar knows uh, too much about that one. Uh, when I was so happy of uh, uh, published papers in my hand, one professor saw me and they asked why you were so happy today. I told him, see, today I published one paper. Uh, he is an organic chemistry man and he asked me the one question, uh, what is about your research? I told him it's a research on my, you know, like my the, like a fuel cell research, which is connected to something like an electrochemistry. And the professor said, no, I am not understanding what you were saying. Then, you know, like, again, I mentioned about my research work and that guy said, 
So I am not able to understand your research because it comes under something like a physical chemistry, but I am doing a research on organic chemistry. Then, you know, I got confused how to convince him because uh, the research means what, you know, like we need to, if you do in the laboratory, but it should be go to the society. So then I told him the definition of a research, what I am going to do in my lab, which is directly connected to the society. So then the professor said, yeah, this is called real research. That's what I am doing, that professor, he said. And what I seen in abroad and what I've seen in like something like, you know, local is completely a different one. If suppose uh, when any student enter into my lab or anybody's lab, uh, initially, when we ask them to start your research, okay, the immediately what the students are doing, no? immediately they will go to the lab and they will think in a different way, in such a way that they are going to change the whole world. Sometimes what happens, no, they will go to the Google and just they will type something else. But the thing is that, you know, like everybody knows, I can just tell a little bit story about to uh, sensitize some, you know, like basic researchers. Uh, everyone knows if you just throw the ball, it will come to the down, you know, for every, if you just take one ball, you just hit to the wall, it will come back. Then, you know, like Newton's third law, for every reaction, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Only he became famous. If I just I throw the ball, it will come to the ground because of the gravitational force. Uh, my father knows, my grandfather knows, and everyone knows. And then one person dumped the swimming pool, the same amount of water is displaced then only we remember Archimedes principle. And then you remember that there is a big difference between the scientists and the normal human beings is, we normal human beings will think in only convention method. The scientists, they will think in different method. As mentioned, Navin Kumar, once he mentioned, the systematic study, what is the meaning of systematic study? I always say to my students, whatever you do reaction or whatever you do experiment, in your laboratory, please maintain the lab book. Why I am going to tell every time? Because if you maintain the log book, that is very, very important. Because if you get success in the experiment, we can understand where we, where we got the success. If you fail in the experiment, then we can easily find out where are the failures. The thing is that when you ask the question about the research, this research is something like a some, you know, ocean, okay? Something like an ocean. Some people, science people, are directly depends upon the experimental values. Some arts professors are doing, humanities are doing something like a different. Commerce people are doing something like a different. Business, business management people, the way of seeing the research is a different one. See, when corona comes, we scare to too much because we don't have such idea at that time and we used to say always we need to follow SMS, uh, sanitizer, mask, and social distance. Later, we little bit, you know, understanding the concepts of what could be the uh, scary about the coronavirus, and everyone in little bit got an idea. That means we need a type of research which should be action research. When the problem comes to the society or to any people, immediately, you know, the government or something like higher level, they call scientists only. The scientists are very, very important. Maybe you can recall, maybe 1960s and the 1950s, when everyone was, the, the death rate was increasing like anything. People got confused why people are dying like anything. Because of presence of the sugar, more sugar. The thing is that what happened, no? The Professor Clark was the first person because when body loses so much of sugar, everyone was saying that you please take more sugar. That is the real, you know, like wrong concept. Because if your body loses so much of water, we drink more water. It's very common. But the thing is that when sugar loses so much, too much of sugar, people are saying that you take the sugar. Then what happened? No? The, again, the death rate was almost like, again, it was increasing. Then immediately they figured out there is a big problem is going on because uh, even if you consume more sugar, it is going to be very a pathetic situation is happening. Then, you know, Professor Clark was identified one glucose biosensor. It's a very simple strip. You just take that strip, you just touch to the something like, you know, 0.1 ml of the blood. 
the sugar present in the blood is directly you know uh, converted into oxidative product of the glucose and the transducer giving the values of you know 80 120 200 300 that is the first research especially when i start you know like biosensors and everything i'm more exciting if you see those type of research when a student level the research is something like a different one how i am telling is when you pass your msc or ma mcom when you join to any research group with any professor like i'm talking about indian uh, like professor they will figure out you know my aim i am a full time research scholar i need to finish my research in 3 hours if a part time research scholar he will think or she will think i need to finish my research in 4 years but the thing is that what they will do they will take the papers of the research supervisor and they will keep on reading and they will what they will do you know they will just you know they will check and they are doing something like a different one sometimes what happens no i will always say see when you start the research first of all we need to read the paper but the thing is that if you ask the question what is the meaning of the paper student will get confused the thing is that the research means it's not only just 3 years 4 years or a 5 years research it's a continuous process it's the systematic study of a particular company say for example uh, today, uh, like uh, Karwar, Prabhakar, Jyotikini, Madam, and everyone is hosting a seminar, uh, a webinar. Strictly speaking, earlier before Corona, we used to go to the Karwar of heavy rain at this time, and we need to go to that place and uh, give a one hour talk and then come back by car or bus. It all depends on us. But now, sitting in Kuwempu University, sitting a, a postdoc in Michigan University, sitting a one professor in Iran. We are giving a seminar, it is audible and everybody can listen. That is a different arrangement of the thing depends upon the time. That means we are finding a solution. Because the person is there in Michigan, if you want to come back to India, spending of $1,400 or $1,800, now $2,100, and person coming from Iran and spending so much of time and so much of money, is not an important but the thing is that getting a spreading of knowledge about the research that plays an important role so we have chosen a different platform which is nothing but a webinar so now i will go how people are doing research step by step and what is the something like you know doing a research in a different corner and why people are going behind the research and why now ugc nac nrif they are more you know, like uh, checking about how the people are doing something like research in universities and colleges and then uh, state uh, central universities and institutes. The thing is that doing a research in institute is entirely different from in state university as well as central university. And the persons doing a research in colleges, I think it's very difficult because in colleges, uh, people are more, you know, like faculty members are more are oriented towards teaching rather than research. But in universities, you know, people are more concentrating on research as well as teaching. But the thing is that whatever you do, the science of today is technology of tomorrow. See, no one knows in 2002, I can receive the phone call through cell phone. I can talk to the people. I can see the more. I can see the uh, something like pictures. I can see the movies. I can talk to any scientist. Now, a span of 15, 20 years, we just imagine how the research is going on, especially in telecommunication. India is good in IT, information technology, very good at uh, BT, biotechnology, and NT, nanotechnology. But the thing is that how people have started the, about the research and what are the steps are involved. Say, for example, if you ask the question, you know, like, uh, sir, uh, see, I want to do something. But the facility is not there in my college. I don't want to do the research, sir. whatever you say. People ask the question. See, yes, everyone knows we have a lack of facility. But the lack of facility the, doesn't mean that you should sit happily and come at 10 o'clock and go at 5 o'clock. That is not the way to do the, uh, like thinking of our a lack of facility or good of, you know, good infrastructure. You need to create the infrastructure. How? You need to write a project. You need to write for the funding and get some projects and get some money and dump into your laboratory and make sure that you should be very focused 
what is the meaning of focus? I am always focusing on research. No, focus on one component. In 10th standard, in like a 10th class, we are studying six subjects. 10 plus 2, people are more concentrating on four subjects. If you go for a degree classes, people are concentrating on three subjects. And if you go for a master, people are concentrating on one subject. And then PhD, they are concentrating on one part. And then in postdoc, people are concentrating on a particular concept. So that is called as going, if you just triangle, if you just, you know, like do it, you can just make it. That is very important. When you go for higher level, you need to think why I need to do a research. Research is only it is giving publication. Only research is giving something like a PhD degree or I need to do or I need to give something to the society. If C.V. Raman was thinking in a different way, why should I think about scattering of light? You know, like India, we are not able to get a Nobel Prize before independence. So with a small introduction, I will go step by step with something like a PowerPoint. I need to share some uh, like a thing and then we will discuss uh, like uh, what the people are doing and what could be the reason. So uh, if you see, everyone knows uh, this is uh, uh, my, you know, like Kuvempo University, a very beautiful uh, campus. Uh, if you see Navin Kumar, this uh, campus also looks like, you know, University of Virginia where something like a scattered campus. But whatever it may be, uh, the thing is that when you just say that word research, you know, we should be focused and we should be thinking 360 degree angle. See, the thing is that, you know, like uh, uh, when you start your research, normally what happens today we'll do, uh, tomorrow I will do, day after tomorrow I will do. If you get the results, then people are saying that I'm getting a result, I will keep on doing the reaction or keep on doing the experiment. That is not the thing. If you do this experiment today, if you fail tomorrow, if you fail day after tomorrow, then next day, definitely you are going to get a good results. The thing is that initially, when you get all success after doing some experiment, then you were thinking that this, this research is very easy. It is not the thing because when you do something like a reaction, you need to face some failures. Then you are going to learn so many things from the failure. You cannot learn so many things from the success because in success, you are doing a one path you got the final product. If you do in different way, when experiment fails, then your mind started to think where I failed. If I, instead of doing this one, if I start this one, what could be the result? The thing is that when you start the research, make sure that you should be able to understand very, very, very simple concept. Do not neglect a simple concept because simple concept will take you to higher level. People are saying that I am a research scholar. I will read only the papers of high impact. I will read the papers of just yesterday. No, do not think like that because you should get a literature. If you normal human being, if you want to go for a movie of spending 200, 300 rupees, they will see trailer. Once seeing the trailer, they will decide whether I need to go for a movie or not. Only spending span of three hours. Imagine if you are doing a research, it will take four years or five years. That means how you need to plan. That means you should be focused and you should be able to understand the simple concept and discussion plays a very important role. And, you know, everyone will say that, you know, if you ask the question, who is the father of modern chemistry, we say Lavoisier, and many, you know, like people will tell, will tell the similar way, you know, sometimes what happens, you know, people ask, who invented the research? It's a very different uh, a question when I ask the question, who uh, discovered the research? Research is the mother, you know, like a necessity of mother invention. Because if I want to do something else, I will search in the mind. See the, how the, our mind will work. It all depends upon how you view something like, now when I add ragi, it will grow ragi. When I add java, it will get java. Correct now? The thing is that how you give input, that's the place important for, like the P.F. Lazar Field, properly known as the founder of modern research. The thing is that, you know, the question will come, what is real research? When you ask the question, people will say so many definitions. 
according to redmond and more will say which is nothing but a systemized effort of gain new knowledge see the thing is that systematic are no systematic effort so that means today you will dig something else another day will dig something else another day will do something that is not giving a fruitful result you need to do the same thing two three four five six seven times then only you can do research nowadays you can see this guy is typing so many things why because you know when you uh, nowadays people are directly depends upon the google earlier you know we need to depends upon gurukul so with that means to uh, a uh, gurukul the concept of all student is to go to the place where guru stays and people is to learn with when obedient the honesty and people come back to this place but now because of the google people student will say guru you please cool do not worry we will dig everything through google so this guy is typing everything and then when i ask the question people will say the science versus belief because the concept of research how it is emerged sometimes what happens no we used to say belief belief plays very important role because you know belief i cannot say say yesterday i say in kuvempu university big dinosaur came and it passed from kuvempu university to karwar nobody believe my work nobody believe why because in you know, like you know science people we used to ask about the proof i cannot tell the story somebody cannot tell the story because we need to directly depend upon the proof when i am doing the class somebody will say some student sir i got a fever bring thermometer check it if somebody says i got a fracture sir come and show me your x ray photography say show me the x ray so people are directly depends upon the proof that plays very important role science requires too much of proof that proof which is responsible for the doing a research that is very very important if say this water bottle is there i am drink water i will drink water why because which is something like a soft water if somebody say it's an hard water which contains carbonates and bicarbonate of calcium and magnesium people can use a simple technique they can boil it that is the best method to purify the water but now i will drink this water because which contains something like a label this plays very important role i cannot drink two normal sulfuric acid i cannot drink 10 molar sodium hydroxide the thing is that we should be very systematic idea though if i drink the water what happens what could be the ph where it is a hard water or a soft water but the thing is that you make sure that you know like how you see uh, in msc or mcom or ma and how you are going to see the things should be different especially in the research in the research we should be always skeptical that plays very important role skeptical means what say for example if i do something else if it goes wrong i should be able to check it may be skeptical if it get a result it is also skeptical keep on doing the experiment that re plus search doing doing something like repeat it sometimes what happens you know like when i came in 2007 to india i used to tell to my student redo the experiment one student came sir wherever whenever i do experiment you are always saying sir redo the experiment i told do it five times do it 10 times get systematic that's very important then is to say if i do one time what happens so one time maybe fluke i don't know i cannot believe on you or this one but make sure that do five times 10 times 15 times if you are getting then you can start to write a paper i will tell you about what is the meaning of a paper but the thing is that how people are you know starting their research normally what happens when you say the research research is a process of systematic enquiry that involves collection of data maybe document critical information analysis interpretation and it all depends upon one field to other field if suppose for the science chemistry physics math and other disciplines you know like other subject are a different one if person is doing in kannada english in the language is sanskrit is a different one person doing for the commerce and business management is a different one because this most of the research are classified into basically three categories number one is exploratory second one is descriptive and third one is casual the thing is that if you if the person is doing a research especially like company guys the company guys how they will think no if i spend 100 crores to the company how much profit i am getting 
how much profit? 200 crores, 500 crores, 1000 crores. He directly evaluated his idea of research in terms of a profit. That could be okay, no problem, because uh, their research is a different one. But when you're doing an experiment in the laboratory, that is a different one. We think about the real positive results, we think about negative results. Uh, always think that negative results are not negative results. Negative and negative may be positive, 100 percent positive. So you should be very careful, and the people are thinking in a different direction. At university level, what happens? The research is very careful, detailed study of a specific problem by using your scientific method. When I say the scientific method, make sure that you are uh, basically uh, depends upon uh, like proof. Say uh, the functional group or uh, nature of the proton or whatever it may be, you need to directly depends upon the proof, which is nothing but a scientific method. If I say one person, Rajkumar is again acting in a movie, then everyone they will think that the Rajkumar is no more. Why this guy is telling? That means, you know, like we need to give a proof. The thing is that when you're doing experiment or thinking of research at elementary school is a different one. Thinking of research at degree level is a different one. Thinking of a research at laboratory after finishing of a postgraduate different one. And then at assistant professor, associate professor and senior professor. And when you become old, people is to give more respect to the professor only because that guy will give a different direction of a different path that plays a very important role. Then always the question will arise when I start a research, especially in the research methodology, how many types of researchers are there? We can say quantitative research, qualitative research, mixed research, descriptive research, longitudinal research, cross-sectional research, and action research. Action research plays a very important role. Why? Because if sudden problem comes, see, there are two types of research. Number one is academic, maximum people in state universities, colleges, people are doing academic research. Uh, but that research we cannot neglect because the basic things play a very important role. Uh, that academic research is a different one about the action research or applied research. The applied research, what people are doing, say for example, today, if suppose you are doing a research of old, you know, like techniques or old methods, the diseases occurred at 1900, 1920, 1930, people are not such so interested. But if you start a research of doing about the coronavirus or recent, uh, this one, people are more big guy on those type of research. People are more enthusiastic of doing a action research. The question will come, uh, what are the purpose of doing a research? See, many times what happens, you know, uh, like some uh, professors, they will read a lot. They read textbook, they read papers, and the people started to write something like the reviews. That's a good one thing. I don't tell it's a bad one. It's a very good one. Some professors, what they will do, they have a basic idea of what to do, what not to do. And uh, some professors are doing something like, you know, I want to do this research because if I do this research, it is going to get more funding. Some professors, they will think that I do academic research in future, maybe like 20 years, 30 years, my research is going to become something like instrumentation or it is directly applicable to the society. So whatever it may be, uh, make sure that the purpose of research is really ongoing process of correcting and refining hypothesis. That's a very important. We should lead to acceptance of certain scientific truth. That plays very important. Mass can be converted into energy. Energy can be converted into mass. E is equal to mc square. Every like big the scientist has uh, uh, told about the, the scientific truth. And now people are doing something like a uh, different one. And we mentioned two types of research, basically in broad way, qualitative and quantitative research. Uh, like in qualitative research, the, uh, something like uh, generally depends upon some uh, unquantifiable things and non-numerical things, uh, because uh, the quantitative research, which includes uh, the research methodology, which is of very importance of hypothesis research. This may be a systematic uh, research methodology, 
and it is in numbers. But the thing is that in quantitative research, methodology basically includes laboratory experiments, econometrics, mathematical calculation, surveys, simulation, and these measurements quantify the critical factor of quantitative research methodology. Say, for example, a person doing a library science research, what he will do? He will take on group of people and he will give question and answers. Depends upon the answer written by a person is directly implicable of the research. He, he may take 50 students and he will give the questionnaires. Depends upon those questionnaires, he will write one paper. In commerce, they are doing after your superannuation, what is your future plan and you are, how you are going to get something like a money and other thing. He will give C or he will give some questionnaires. Depends upon that one, they do research. Sometimes what happens, some researchers will go to the villages or something like a forest area. Those people are living very small group of people and they will ask many questions and depends upon the interview, he will do some type of a research. If a scientist is there, the scientist you know, is always busy with the research of going and visiting laboratory many times. So his idea of doing research is a different one. He will think, suppose when I do research, something like a take something like a component, whether these components are the results they're getting for other people also. also. Because when nanoparticle come, people will say that one, oh, this nano uh, technology uh, is something like doing a big things and so many things. Of course, everyone knows if you take one meter, cut it to thousand times, you will get a one meter, one millimeter. If you take one millimeter, cut it to thousand times, you'll get a one micrometer. If you take one unit, take uh, cut it to thousand times, you'll get a one nanometer. So that means you should be in, in quantity in uh, something like a quantitative research. We should depend upon systematic study of some experiment, methodology, mathematical calculation, surveys and simulation. And we need to think should be very, very critical factor. And then normally what happens when your student join to a research after passing the entrance examination, the question will come, he or she will always get an idea how many students are working in that professor, what is his area, and how whether you first uh, join to that research whether he or she will give in a three years or four years or 10 years, these questions will arise. Why? Because when you do something like a start a research, make sure that first of all, you need to identify and develop your topic. This is very, very, very important. Why I'm telling this very important is, so you should be able to think how to identify and develop your topic. Many times what happens now, when students join to the research, they will say, sir, I'm going to do this research. This research is very important. So then I will ask the question, okay, that's very good. Whether you are going to be able to finish in four years or five years. The time management plays a very important role in a research. Sometimes what happens when you take a, something like a problem, that problem is going to complete or you to give fruitful result after eight years or 20 years, then you are not a good researcher because in PA, when a student joins for a PhD, he will think in something like a, uh, within the box. He should not think out of the box. Professor can think out of the box and make it something like a boundary. Boundaries plays a very important role. We call it as background information. This background information plays a very important role. Suppose abruptly I cannot take a research on something like I'm going to develop very good electrochemical sensor for the corona. corona. So you should be able to think you get so much of ethical issues, uh, clearance, and where you are going to do the experiment, and what are your, your uh, stakeholders, stakeholders, and you need to think in, different, think in different way that how you are going to finish your experiment. So you need to find the background information along with your identification of the topics. Once you do these steps, third step is very important. You people will read some catalog, People will read some book and people will check the Google or particular website, ChemWeb or Physics, Science Direct or something else. And people are going for so much of database. And I will tell you about the database. And then people use periodical articles, use indexes and additional internet resources. See, whenever you want to start a research, make sure that 
at least you read before doing the experiment. That plays very important role in science. Don't plunge abruptly into your research because once you go, you say, for example, uh, in a different corner, you should be able to get rid of those uh, negative results. How your negative result is going to become something like a positive result? So this positive result plays a very important role and to make sure that once you get an idea or additional internet resources, make sure that uh, you are going to evaluate. You know, that is very important. For any researcher, we should understand psychology. Say, for example, my student will say, sir, we'll add these type of uh, so many graphs. But the thing is that you should get an idea. If you add 20 figures for 10 tables, then readers may be less because once you see a paper, the paper should be of, you know, like important. But importance plays a very important role. So then you need to make sure that cite what you find using standard format. That is also plays a very, very important role. Then, you know, like when you want to start something like a, a research report, not a paper, I'm talking about the research report, make sure that you need to get an idea, a review of literature. What is the meaning of review of literature from 1920 to 1950? People are doing this type of, you know, like research in a particular thing. Now I'm going to do the uh, something like an experiment from 1950 to 1980, and then from 1980 to 2010, and 2010 to 2023, what are the researchers going in my field? And how people are interpreting the results? Whether they got the negative results, whether they failed, whether they succeed, it all depends upon the review of literature. That plays very important role. We cannot neglect. That is very important review of literature. Any scholar joined for the research, you should be able to understand what is literature and you need to dig about the literature and you should be very, very systematic and in the arrangement of this type of researcher, that plays very important role. Next, you should be able to understand methods, what type of methods they are involved and how people are doing this type of method. And finally, what happens, no? the results and discussion. The results and discussion plays a very important role because these results and discussions are directly implication of your ideas as well as directly implication of what you have done in the research from the past, like one year, two year, three year, or a four year, because the thing is that you cannot, you know, like imagine in the research. Initially, if you imagine, plan for an experiment is a different one, but once you do the experiment, your imagination should be within the box. Sometimes you don't get the result. You should think out of the box. Then you go for the introduction. See, that introduction plays a very important role. While writing a paper, I tell you, if you do experiment for one year, two years, or say, for example, eight months of stipulated time, directly students will write a paper saying that introduction, keywords, uh, like uh, experimental, uh, results and discussion, conclusion and uh, abstract and so many things. So what I learned, you know, from research, when you do something like uh, after doing an experiment, so much of experiment, make sure that first you write results and discussion. That is the most important because you know where you did some experiment, where you can have a, something like a, a boundary, where you don't have a boundary. So first you need to think and write initially only results and discussion that plays very important role. Once you finalize results and discussion, immediately you can write experimental, that is experimental is very easy. And then once you write experimental results and discussion, write immediately conclusion. That conclusion is a combination of your uh, results and discussion and then as well as experimental, you will write conclusion. Always keep to write introduction at final. The conclusion, results, and discussion club together, and you need to focus and you need to write an introduction. That introductory part plays a very important role. That introductory part, the last paragraph will say what is your whole the research output of this research paper. So therefore, make sure that after everything you need to write introduction. After writing introduction, then you write abstract. It's very easy. 
after writing these things, you know, write two or three times, give it to your juniors because many times what happens when you write a paper, even some people doesn't understand what this guy is writing. If a person, ordinary person can able to understand, then we can say, oh, this guy can understand means people are understanding my paper in a different level. Then you can uh, choose a particular title and then you can finish. That is very important. Therefore, writing of a paper is a skill. Initially, what happens in a research like state university in colleges, when you submit your paper, you just go and take a cup of coffee, your paper may reject. Don't become depressed. You think it's very good, paper rejected, I can improve more things. Sometimes what happens, they will take, they will send for a reviewer and they will say, this paper is not up to the mark. We received many papers and we don't, you know, like uh, don't have this to focus our research. You can transfer your paper. Do not worry, take into positive because they are figuring out why people, you know, like some papers are reject because that paper may be uh, not fit to this type of research. Say, for example, if I do research, malarial research, old research, or something like if you do corona research, people are getting more publication. That means not only I'm talking about the disease, maybe like talking about something like a, a new thing that plays a very important role. That means always keep in the mind when you choose a research, you should go in always scientific means of examining the things and make sure that you include your theory ideology or principle and your tool, device or your health invention, that plays very important. People will say, sir, I'm doing a good research, sir. What is your parameter? What is your scale? If somebody say, sir, he's not doing good research, how you are going to say he's not doing a good research, whether you have a parameter. So make sure that a good research involves a systematic planning, setting up time-based a realistic objectives that is very important. I am always giving a more preference of setting up time based. Why? Because if suppose I choose one research problem, if I give one problem to my student, you develop a sensor for something like, you know, like a different type of bioactive molecule, then he will say, uh, he will dig the literature for three months, six months. And will come with some ideas and he will say, Sir, I'm keep on reading many papers, but I don't think so I'm going to uh, finish my research in span of three, in span of for four or five years. At least that guy should be able to understand, uh, like it is not going to complete for five to six years. That means we should be very, very focused, setting up of time based, a realistic objectives. We cannot imagine and say, after 10 years, my research is going to complete. No problem. If our university gives a permission, if our guide is able to digest you, that is not a problem of doing a research for 10 years. But the thing is that, you know, the professor will continue the same research base. In India and abroad, I tell you the major difference. Like in some professor in India also is doing excellent work. People will say, Oh, you are doing a one type of research from past 20 years. Why, man? You are not taking any other compounds. You are keep on doing with only one compound. Then immediately I'll figure out that this guy is a, something like uh, he is evaluating me in a different type of a thing. Because if you go to abroad or some professor, top professors in India, also some institute, they are doing in one particular compound of 30 years of research. 30 years of research. That means they are not going to finish. Uh, their research in a five years, they keep on doing a one research field in one area of by taking a many students. So then the product will be very good output. And make sure that when you start the research, the research method are directly depends upon the research methodology and the research, the nature of research question plays a very important role. When I say the fundamental research, People are saying that what is the reason of fundamental research? When you do fundamental research in a laboratory is a different one. Fundamental research in something like business is a different one. If you go and talk to a business professor, businessman, his research is critical analysis. He don't depend upon if I spend 100 crores, I will wait for uh, 
uh, will wait for 70 years to get output. No, he doesn't uh, uh, like stay a big time. He will say, my analysis is critical analysis of a product placement where it could be effective marketing strategy. Then only I will start to spend more amount to the uh, business. The business research is completely a different one. They will always think that, you know, if you go and talk to the people of Elon Musk or something like, you know, uh, like a top, like a businessman, they are, you know, they will think and they will uh, plan in such a way that if I spend something like 1,000 or 100 crores or 1 billion or 1 million, how much money I'm going to get in different way, whether these, you know, like a different ideas will do something like a different uh, of this thing. The thing is that, the fundamental research in business is a different one and the fundamental research in uh, uh, humanities is a different one and uh, in science what we are doing is a different one and basically any method you can do it some people are doing uh, experiments uh, by observation some people are doing research on survey some people are doing experiment and you know people are interviewing with something and some professors are doing a uh, very good research of gathering information, especially in the social science. And then, you know, like a science research is a different one, art research is a different one, but basically in research, we should have one mind that is called as WWW. We always say in internet, www dot something you, what you were saying. The thing is that when you say this WWW, the people should think that this W means why, what, when, that plays very important role. So why you are doing your research? What could be the output when you are going to finish your research? That the thing is that what could be my ideas of a research if a student inculcate with this WWW things, definitely is going to become a good research. The first uh, step in the research, everyone knows, you need to identify the problem. And people are saying that the pure research and applied research. See, the pure research immediately doesn't give a marketable result initially. Initially, I'm talking about. But applied research, they are more focused on you know, practical application. Uh, like in industry, they're immediately going for the applied research, especially in universities and some academic professors, they are doing something like pure research. And uh, this is a very important understanding, the fundamental concept that plays very important role. One should have a very good skills like report writing, data collection, analysis of information from different source, finding information from the internet, critical thinking. That plays very important role for a good researcher. Why I mean critical thinking? The critical thinking will come when you read more papers. When you read more papers, you will get more ideas, especially in critical thinking and planning and scheduling that plays very important role. Some people are doing interviewing, you know, so many things, and then they will think in a different way and plan, take the data collection and make sure that you need to write very systematic report that plays a very, very important role. And then, uh, like uh, some people will say, especially humanities, they'll say that we do uh, four to five methods of uh, collecting data, uh, there may be a one is interview they are doing that a group of people and they will check about the questionnaires and surveys and some people they are doing a, writing something on the observation depends upon the documents and records and they will focus the group and they will read some uh, like oral history and they will do research especially in humanity. That plays a very important role. And then the basic research versus applied research. This is always, you know, like uh, uh, we will have uh, some discussion, we'll like, uh, having a cup of tea and a cup of coffee. Oh, your research is fundamental research. You know, my research is applied research. Somebody will say, no, 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 your research is the fundamental. Mine is applied research. We'll have a discussion while you cup of tea. The basic research and the applied research. The applied research is very, also very important, you know, designed to especially answer the questions and uh, uh, make sure that you're solving the practical problem. And basic research uh, uh, is very important because the uh, fundamental or a few research will always use application. Uh, so that is both, if you just combine uh, basic research as well as applied research, you will get a very good you know, like ideas. And even people will say, 
there are three major sources of research problem. Okay, so primary, secondary, and tertiary. People will say, many people will say, in research methodology, you keep on reading the book. Uh, it all depends upon one discipline to other discipline. People will say primary research, secondary research. You need to read this type of book and you need to understand this concept and so many things. But whatever it may be, uh, like you need to understand in a different way. And even many professors are asking the question, oh, in science, you have many papers. In art, you are going to write a book. What about our education research? See, I'll tell you, education research is also very important and they can publish more papers and they can write more papers because education uh, research is very important because it is conducted in order to provide trustworthy information regarding education problems and their solutions. See, what happens in Corona, everyone in mathematics teacher, Canada, uh, chemistry, physics, we taught through online. What is the output of the source students? Doing a mathematics in the board, doing a teaching through webinars or something like internet, what could be the output of the student? I'm not talking about higher level, I'm talking about uh, lower level, like one to four standards. So, guys, they don't understand because whenever they say, they say, oh, I can't understand. But to make sure, you know, like this type of research, they have to do it. Education research, what, what is the output after Corona time? So what could be, so people are using everywhere cell phone, the effect of cell phone to the student, so what could be the output of the student? So these things are plays a very important uh, role. And then, you know, like uh, research important, especially that knowledge and understanding the concept. And uh, we say always the word research comes from middle French. Okay. The meaning is a uh, very simple again and again, or we can say back to the original place or again, new or we can say research means other word is once more so because you know research means we cannot stop it uh, back to the original place or again keep on thinking and once more or a new thing that is called as a research and then you know like uh, some uh, when you talk about uh, a science professor big professor of uh, long hairs and big beard if you go and talk to him sir you tell me uh, i need to do a good research then we'll ask immediately question, can you differentiate about a good research and a bad research? There is no bad research and a good research. It all depends upon the time, depends upon the person to person, depends upon the subject to subject. When you go and talk to a science professor, he will say, first you read some papers and get me the thing. What is your idea about this component? Say, for example, you are saying that this research has already been done by so many people. How many scientists are working in India? You tell me. And they may ask you the question, uh, like how many professors are working in uh, US or UK or some other countries about this area? And why people are going behind only of this compound? That means you should able to say, see, the thing is that, when you talk about the research with uh, people, uh, research with big scientists and research with some uh, like academic professor is totally a different one. So make sure that uh, you need to think in a different way and uh, develop knowledge for profession that plays very important role and then develop effective policies and make sure that you're going to solve some problem. Uh, that is very important. Then uh, increase your knowledge based with the larger society and huge amount of daily life and experience in our society are based on what we have learned using the logic and evidence involved in scientific research. When problem comes, all politicians will come to uh, that uh, scientist. They are not going to any hero or hero, uh, this one, some, you know, like film heroes or heroine. They will come to the scientist and they will beg the, uh, they will ask the question, how we need to solve the problem. When problem comes, all scientists are required. That plays a very important uh, role. In scientific method, make sure that uh, like you need to uh, bring in a different way. And some people, they will say that one, you know, like uh, searching of scientific problem, review of literature, hypothesis, aim of research, methods, plan of results, plan of research, research and results. So this is very important. Why? Because when searching the problem, 
because in phd people are doing a different type of research after phd people are going for a postdoctoral fellow after going postdoctoral fellow they will select a research problem because they have like four to five years or they can continue in the research area so they will take a different one and they do a different type of research that plays very important role and always you know uh, when you see the scientist you know the scientists have long hair long hair big you know like a big mustache and a, a long beard and everything looks like something like kg of hero and then villains but the thing is that you know like why don't ask that they don't have a time to do something but the thing is that they are always worried about uh, the research problem how to solve it when you doing these things you know that the very important is uh, i need to talk about a very important is you know like uh, especially database i'll tell you this database is very 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 important if you go to google uh, type anybody's name say for example cna rao a right einstein or right something like a research methodology you will get many things database is very very important see the database means what it's a collection of information that is well organized anybody can easily access it managed and updated that plays very important role database is very 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 important if you go and type your car or college name it will come who are the faculty member who is doing webinar and everything if you want to start a research in science or something less go and type that name everything will come then you read that one that plays very important role the database the computer database contains many aggregation data record files and they will give more information about uh, everything of specific even customers also database plays a very important role these databases are classified into four categories hierarchical database network database object oriented database and uh, relational database so these databases plays a very important role especially in research methodology and then when i ask the question what is the concept of database you can say very simple database is a well organized collection of data generally stored and accessed electronically from a computer very simple you just go and type kuwempo university all kuwempo university information will come just just go and type corona coronavirus or something else everything will come just go and type anybody's name it will come so it will give lot of information and then this citation data bless man is very important that sk navin kumar also saying one word in research honesty promptness will play a very important role we call it as uh, that is you know like uh, uh, ethical issues especially in uh, publication see citation data for example for every reaction there is the equal and opposite reaction in science if i say i am not telling kumar sam is not telling the citation i need to say the citation of you know like newton if the displacement the same amount of water is expelled from the swimming pool when you just plunge into swimming pool we can you know give archimedes uh, uh, like citation the citation plays a very important role we call it as a citation data citation data is the form of bibliographic index where it provides a record of citation between the publication and then this database will allow for the authors to have cited uh, publication and how many citation you have done see when the nat people come to any institute or any like hei we call it as hei uh, they first ask the question uh, the committee people because in nat in according to raf they are saying that 70% is uh, uh, already freed and 30% is only for the visit and uh, first question which is just pick them from airport or something else they ask the question uh, what is your age index of your institution and then what is the citation of your institution see that is very important especially for the university level i'm talking about the university level uh, because uh, the, the main criteria is doing the research as well as the teaching and then this citation plays a very important role and this citation you know people is to say citation is the way of tell your reader that certain material in your work came from another source if you fail to give citation you are not a good research make sure that you are giving a proper citation many people they will forget 
and that editor will uh, that uh, author will write to the journal people see i am doing this research this guy has not mentioned my citation that is completely illegal therefore check your citation again and again that plays very important role if you fail to cite any professor name that is completely a illegal make sure that because nowadays of you know like uh, the uh, like recent development you know you can get through many resources so that's why make sure that a citation is the way of tell to your reader that certain material in your work came from another resource you are not going to bring with somewhere else you need to give citation it also gives your reader the information necessary to find including information you got your work title of the work if you fail to give cite then your paper if anybody say this guy is not able to give citation then there is a big problem the question is why do we need citation it's a good question huh? when you when are doing something like a research you ask sir you are always saying that give citation how many citation i need to give thousand two thousand no 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 when you pick a problem particular problem make sure that who has done of particular area of your methodology so citing or documenting the source is directly depends upon three purpose it gives proper credit that plays very important role proper credit to the author then uh citing your source consistently accurately helps you to avoid committing plagiarism in your writing the plagiarism is very dangerous make sure that uh, you should not plunge into that business plagiarism business so plagiarism is very dangerous if you fail to quote if you copy the same text if you copy some figures or something else it is completely illegal in abroad they will just remove Uh, from your job in india also they are doing but in some universities and make sure that you need to avoid to committing plagiarism while writing you should cite the citation plays very very important role and then uh, like uh, <clears throat> the three pieces of information citing the author is make sure that write author name year and then in computer science or something like people are no doi also location whatever it may be people sometimes they ask sir tell me what are the differences between citation and reference the terms of citation and reference are also often used for the same thing even though the mainly the references means what whatever the refer citation how many people are writing these things you need to write full bibliographic information at the end of any paper or research report and then how do you cite a website for example a paper example many times what happen no uh, in science we have a some science direct we have some corpus and many things everyone knows in science uh, in arts many times what happen no people will quote website especially make sure that when you quote the website first you write title of the article website name day month year best is you are because that's a very important if you especially while quoting that website make sure that website name day month year and url if you give this one proper then you are safe because uh, i have mentioned something in uh, 2021 but now i will change my website so in 2021 that information why uploaded in my website is correct but now in 2023 i changed a little bit and i added some in incorporation of updated information that's why make sure that you are going to quote day month and year and also url plays a very important role nowadays everyone is fighting against or something like people are analyzing by h index my professor uh, when you write a article of impact factor 3 uh, is very famous when a student getting a phd he is going to publish in a paper of impact factor 10 then uh, the other student will come and they will ask sir your supervisor published a paper in impact factor 2 but you published in impact factor of 8 so because of these ambiguities and so many things uh, that the may in uh, research matrices there is a one column is there which is called as h index 
That's a very important. Nowadays, they're going to analyze. H index means as maximum value of H such that you just plot the graph of documentation versus uh, publication, uh, the highest number of uh, citation you are going to get H index. H index means very important. Say, for example, if you published 20 papers, 10 papers got 10 times citation, or 11 papers got minimum uh, 11 citation, then your H index will be 11 only. So now the thing is that when you plant the graph of citation versus number of papers, then you are going to get highest uh, a citation of a particular you know, number. So this H index plays a very, very important role. So uh, in abroad, you know, like in India, there are many things I'll tell you. Uh, average I'm talking about in abroad, even assistant professor should have minimum two to five H index. Remember, remember that. If you say I don't have H index in science, people will see that one. What you are doing a research is maybe not a recent one, and maybe it is not a social relevant. Make sure that you are doing a research of social relevance. That social relevance plays a very important role. If your H index is two to five, then you are able to say you are an assistant professor. If the H index of associate professor is ranging from six to ten, say I'm just quoting one value, six to ten. And full professor should have from 12 to 24. So this is very important. H index is uh, nowadays from past five, six years, people are, when you send any your resume to any professor, or you are finding uh, some postdoc, especially for PhD guys, uh, they will check your name and they will identify what is your H index. So that H index plays a very important role. And then in Google Scholar, if you go and type my name or anybody's name of Google Scholar, it will give citation, it will give H index, it will give item index. What is the meaning of item index? Item index is very simple. Any publication has 10 times citation, we call it as an item index. Any publication has 10 times, say for example, I published, for example, you say 25 papers. Out of 25 papers, uh, 15 papers got minimum 10 times probably a 10 times citation, then I10 index is 15. This is a very simple measure, only used in Google Scholar and is another way to help the gauge the productivity of the scholar. That plays a very important role. H index means, you know, like number of citations, number of publication, how many uh, like citation has done maximum, you know, like uh, this one. Uh, so that is a very important H index. And I10 is minimum 10 times that uh, paper as citation, then we call it as a I10 index. This I10 index was introduced in uh, Google Scholar in 2011. Everyone knows. And it is a very simple and straightforward indexing. Each paper has a 10 times citation. And people used to say that is called as the I10 index. So when I check my website, uh, I need to figure out what is my H index now. H index is 51 and I10 index is 224. That means 224 publications got 10 times citation. Okay. Total citation of uh, my overall research is 9,216. Now, close to yesterday is something like a different number. Just one week back, uh, 9,260 and H index is 51 and I10 index is 224. If you publish 300 articles, 300 plus, but out of 300 plus, I got only 224 publications, minimum 10 times. My H index is 51. So you should make sure that 50, 50 above from Google Scholar. He will take all publications, Google Scholar. And then we, in science, we say this one is also Scopus. See, Scopus is also very important. Uh, Scopus is something like Elfers abstract of citation database, very good Scopus, because the Scopus will take only two things, I'll tell you, SCCI, Science Citation Index Journal, SCCIE, Science Citation Index Extended Journal. There are two ways, SCCI, SCCIE. So SCCIE means extending, SCCI means Science Citation Index Journal. So this is also very important when you talk about the Scopus. In Scopus, you check it. So my uh, total number of documents are 291 documents are there. 
and then my citation in Scopus is 6,700 R and my H index in Scopus is 44. But in Google Scholar, it is a 51. But in Scopus is 44. In Scopus, what he will take? He will take only SCCI and SCCIE. But in Google Scholar, it's a database. He will take all type of citation and he will figure out. But here, he will take only a known SCCI and SCCIE page. And everyone knows in UGC care journals, especially assistant professors, associate professors, they are more worrying about, they will say, you should publish a paper in UGC care journal. When you talk about UGC care journal, many journals are cited. They make it a group one and group two. Initially, we got confused and many people got confused. Finally, they rectified it. Group one journals, they made it. Group two, which is nothing but SCCI and SCCIE journals from UGC care journals, very important to get promotion people are, are doing. So this type of UGC care journals people are doing. And then another one is there, we call it as a web of science. It's also most refined uh, database. Okay, Google and then Scopus and then web of science. In web of science, you can see the whole Kuwampu University total number of publication is 1400 R. And then H uh, index of total Kuwampu University is 68. And how many articles are cited? Okay. And you can figure out in Web of Science, if you are uh, like uh, used to this Web of uh, Science, you can find how many uh, authors are writing a paper in. Uh, uh, SCCI only. He doesn't take SCCI. He will take only SCCI web of science. And you can figure out how many professors are working in a particular university. It is giving a lot of database information. And you can check in web of science. Uh, I have 157 publication and H index is 40 because he will take only SCCI. And to make sure that here is the only one uh, database will give average per item it is minimum one publication got 28.7 times so that information plays a very important role that means if you keep on doing your research publishing a paper because publishing a paper which is nothing but a currency if i go to something like mall i will tell oh i am a professor of Kuwampu university give me something like two kg of sugar he will give two kg of sugar and will ask the money give the money in research also what happens, no? when you keep on doing the work in a research, if you publish, that is called as a currency. If you don't publish, then you don't have a currency. So that's why I'm not, you know, like telling only publications, directly implication of a good research, but make sure that when you plan for a research, when you do research, at least you publish because Kuwampu University located in uh, Shumaga away from 25 kilometers, 18 kilometers away from Badravati, uh, 20 kilometers from Terikere, in Western Ghat region. If you publish a paper, people will read in Stanford, Harvard, or IAT, IAC, everyone. If you don't publish a paper, how do they know a person working in electrochemical sensor sitting in Kuwampu University? Nobody knows. So that means when you publish a paper, these publications are nothing but a currency to the research. Therefore, I'll always tell you, make sure that you publish a paper because publication plays a very important role. That publication will be directly proportional to the productivity of your research. It will help to you, it helps to institution, it helps to your country because you should not stop the research. When you go for the funding details, as initially I told you, uh, when anybody wants to do research, If anybody wants to do research, the first question will come, sir, I don't have a facility. Don't ask me papers. Don't ask me books. Do not ask even for the edited chapter books in any book. I am a teacher. I will do only for a teacher teaching. That's good. I'm not telling you wrong. But the thing is that we should get funding. Funding means what? My equipment cost of 11, 12 lakhs. Who will give? If I ask 1,000 rupees, some professor will give. If I ask one lakh, he will give. See, funding agency, why they will give 25 lakh, one crore, two crore? 
they will give money if you publish paper because they will think that you are into the field so they will give the money for the funding how many fundings are there ugc dst sarp biotechnology csir many things are there so that is very important and even from the web science you can identify how many papers are published in particular area this is called as ethics in ugc they made initially they made only three papers research methodology cognitive subject and guide paper from past 2018 they made a very strict rule they made a four paper paper one research methodology paper two uh, cognitive subject research three like your uh, this one guide paper or something else fourth paper is rep research ethics in publication they made mandate this ethics plays a very important role what is research and publication ethics the researcher should have ethical you know like uh, very important is we need to follow the ethics ethics means what say for example give citation that is ethics when you make a misconduct misconduct means what somebody is writing a paper they will just you know change the name something they will change they will take the same thing and they will write then they will publish we call it as a publication misconduct publication misconduct include what are the idea what are the thing if you fail to give citation if you fail to give references we call it as a plagiarism make sure that you avoid plagiarism fabrication of your work falsification of your work in appropriate authorship see sometimes what happen people will give cite people give author name how many author names no football team is good if the work is interdisciplinary for example you synthesize one compound some professor chemistry they will do they will give two or three this one author name physics people the survey the same compound they will write two or three biology professors will apply and they will write it and some people they are doing real sample analysis a rat experiment they will add three four then it is called as a football team no or cricket team no problem because which is a interdisciplinary in some you know like papers uh, we have seen many times uh, one small work will be there but authors are eight or 10 that shows you know like why you are giving author put to that guy the minimum 30% of the productivity work obtained by one author then you can give a author to that guy so that is called as a inappropriate authorship duplicate that's a very dangerous word duplicate submission they will submit to one journal next day they will submit to same and to other journal unknowingly knowingly publish the same paper same work to two papers that is very dangerous then overlapping of publication and we call it as salami publication okay so this is very 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 uh, dangerous thing and make sure that if anybody wants to start a research you read last paper of rep research ethics in publication and uh, don't uh, a touch even in nano molar i have such in publication misconduct and what are the ethical principles that's very important ethical principles means you should be very honest in the research if you get a result if you don't get result do not worry but honest plays very important role your integrity promise of keeping trust worthiness loyalty fairness concern for others respect for others and the law abiding these are the very important ethical principles normally we teach especially in the research because sometimes what happen you will add 2 ml he say sir i ordered 1.1 ml don't do not tell like that why you write everything it may be a success it may be a failure do not worry about that one because sometimes your failure will be success of good results therefore make sure that whatever the results you are getting show to your supervisor analyze it discuss with your supervisor discuss with something another other platform and make sure that you are that you are maintaining the honesty that honesty plays a very important role and next i told you correct now my supervisor will publish in four impact factor my student may publish in 12 impact factor some other people publish in 55 impact factor and you will say see man i publish a paper in 55 impact factor 
So that means what is the meaning of an impact factor, especially in academic journal, and maybe like everyone knows in Clarivate, uh, this one, citation means what? If you get uh, uh, like citation, the every year, how much of citation is getting? So that one is very important. And then that is called as that uh, impact factor of that year, or we can say it's a measure of the frequency uh, which the average article in the journal has been cited in a particular year. That is direct implication of your impact factor. And it is used to measure the importance or rank of the journal by calculating the times of its articles are cited. So citation plays a very, very important role. Do not fail to give any citation. If you fail to give citation, if anybody write an email to the journal editor, then your supervisor will be very dangerous. So how to calculate impact factor is very simple. You can calculate uh, your impact factor. You know, people are making some software, they will calculate, which is nothing but dividing the number of citation in a general citation report of a year by total number of articles published in two previous years. So they will calculate and they will tell this journal has 4.8 impact factor, this journal has 11.2 impact factor, for example, you can assume you are going to publish uh, with impact factor of one. That means the one article is published every year, two years ago, it has been cited one time, then we call it as impact factor of one. Very simple people are calculating. And how to get published in high impact journal? Because this car war, uh, like a teacher, they plan to write the quality of the publication. See, the, when you say the quality of publication, that word will be a, something like a very curious. If you publish in ordinary journal, that is not quality or not. If you publish a paper in a small journal because I'm working in a village, if I publish in one in journal, whether that is a quality or not, whatever it may be, how to get publish a paper in high impact journal. As per my knowledge concerns, convention methods are there, non-convention methods are there. So convention methods is a different one. Non-convention methods are something like a slightly different one. So uh, you need to think everyone is getting the result, same type of result, same result. When I do a different method, I got same result. If I do same method, if I get a different result, you need to focus on what other people has not shown to the world. Okay. When I do the same experiment, I got, I need to expect this type of value. But the thing is that I got different value. Why I got different value? You need to highlight, see, you are getting the, you are following the same rules, same procedure, but you got a different thing. You need to quote that one and to make sure that when you write that, you know, like priority, the choosing of priority plays very important role. Your research, uh, research needs to be robust and solve big and relevant problem. Then if you highlight, then you can publish a paper in high impact journal. And to make sure that you need to make the figures. The figures in a paper plays a very important role. If there are 10 figures are there, for me one or two figures will bother in my mind. Why? Because so these figures only will give, will tell, and it will tell the real thing. So, I need to choose a particular figure. So that particular figure will take into different uh, a level. So that you need to highlight. And according to the psychology, if you add 25 figures, people doesn't need 25 figures. So out of 25 figures, they will choose one or two. So those figures are to get a good, uh, for going to publish in a good journal. And to make sure that you need to write in a short, clear, and concise way. So that is very important. People will write 20 pages, 30 pages, 50 pages. I'm not telling that. It's also good. They'll do a lot of information. Sometimes what happens, no? they will say research communication, okay, research letters. So communication or something else, make sure that we do not use same word in the same word in your paper. Make sure you can just check and check and tell. And abstract it should be very nice. The abstract plays very important role. And you need to follow that uh, journal guidelines and to make sure that you can write. For example, in you know, one paper I quoted, uh, polyethylene surface B, 
It was published in uh, 2000 at that time because it was very difficult to publish in these journals. A uh, research paper means in what it contains, you know, follow publishing a paper initially, man, it's very pain, I'll tell you. Uh, if you have all facility, like for organic chemistry, IR, NMR, mass and everything, getting those things is very difficult. You have a good infrastructure, you should get good people. You have less infrastructure, get a good people. But the thing is that we should, in uh, like in our passion, we're going to go and dig the literature and make sure that uh, these papers, because of these papers only, my institution is going to be recognized. Because of these papers only, I am going to get a funding. Because of these papers only, I am giving a small, you know, like a little contributory to my country, where I born and brought up in this country from first standard to PhD. And then I am giving something like, you know, to the science. That's very important. You should have that, you know, like keep in the mind. Okay. And then people are writing a research paper and the communication I have done in uh, US. When I was in US with my professor Marshall, and in India, Professor B. Sheregar Sir, who taught me like how to do research and everything. In abroad, Professor Marshall was to always making me joke. If you get a convention result, don't enter into my office because he was showing the same result. Where are the different type of results? I was thinking, why these guys are you know like uh, thinking in different way? Because whatever the results are getting, I am doing in the same convention. Then I started to think, oh, if I do like this, papers are not going to accept. So how I need to think, how I need to do, I need to make a research plan. So communication is also very important. In research, you can write a paper on communication, a review from man is very, very important. Anybody wanted to join for a research, the first thing I will tell you that you please go and read review articles. So very, very important, you will write. The authors will write. They will take sometimes a particular year from 2000 to 2020. Say, for example, an electrochemical sensor, what has been what has been done from the past 20 years? How many professors are working? What type of the research? What type of the methods are allowing? What type of innovative things are allowing? So many things will come. So this you need to write or you need to review or sometimes in Corona, so many review articles came because you cannot come to the lab rotary. People used to uh, sit in the uh, like home or something else. They used to do a lot of uh, good things. The review article plays a very, very important role. It contains all the introduction and the so many things who are taking all these things. And the fast publications are also there uh, because when uh, many people are doing the nanoparticles, when my student has done from three to four years of synthesizing nanoparticles, I told them, you see, you are doing synthesizing. Many people are doing. What is your innovative idea? So then I told them, you know, like uh, what you can do, you just start to convert, you know, your whole nanoparticle into your uh, uh, carbon phase. You develop a sensor. Then he said, sir, it's very difficult. How to do it? I told them, come on, you take something, do it. Then we started to uh, publish many papers when you take this metal oxide nanoparticle. And moreover, about the research, you know, like I need to tell you about a little bit NAC also because many assistant professors are also there. In NAC also, criteria three, there are seven criteria in NAC. Everyone knows since uh, I was uh, uh, involved in the NAC uh, process in uh, from past two, three years, I can give a little bit idea. So because in NAC also, they are more interest towards uh, like the criteria and then some uh, matrices. There are 79 matrices are there before 2000. Uh, at 22, in criteria three, the people used to ask the question, how many grants are received from the government and non-government agency? Okay. And then how much of endowment lectures are there? How many research projects are there? They're evaluating only for every five years. So 3.11. And then percentage of departments getting research project funding from government and non-government agency. See, uh, like uh, when you go for higher education, the continuous work, the continuous uh, research project that plays very important role. If, we, if they give funding, is also good. If they're not giving funding, is also very good because we can keep for another uh, the same plan for the another year. So then people used to ask, you know, how many projects from the faculty, government projects, the non-government projects, and number of how many number of conferences, seminars you were doing, workshops, very important from the past five years. 
this is also very important. How many papers you have published from the institution in UGC care journal? I told you, UGC care journal contains two classes, two a group. Number one is number one and number two. So number two, UGC care journal, normally they talk about more on SCCI and SCCIE. And this one is something like UGC care journal. And even they ask how many number of books and the book chapters edited volumes in national, international conference proceedings and number of awards to the institution, to the, uh, this one, like uh, uh, faculty members and the number of extension program, institution has several linkages in collaboration. This collaboration plays a very important role. Say, for example, if you're good at it in chemistry, somebody may be good at something like, you know, other chemistry. So if I'm synthesizing something like a nanoparticle, I'm not able to do some real a sample analysis, some labs are doing some analysis, you can make one MOU more about understanding. So this memorandum of understanding is also plays a very important role. They used to check about the collaboration, the linkages, and functional MOUs. In the last five years, this MOU plays a very important role. It's a very simple, it's a document that describes the broad outlines of an agreement between two or more parties have reached. That's very important. In uh, NAC, normally they will check MOUs and functional MOUs. Functional MOUs means what? At least you should have one function in one year, in five years. So we call it as a MOUs, very, very important. And then uh, in any MOU, you should contain a judicial paper. And then you should have who are the name of the project, contributors and other contribution, and the contact information and objectives and everything should be there. And extension activities also play a very important role. These are very important role, especially in criteria seven. In criteria three, we'll have a more mark when come to the other criteria. So then consultancy, what is the meaning of a consultancy? Expertise. If you have expertise, you know you can do that work and you can get that money to the institution. And that's a very important the practice size of providing third party with the expertise on a matter of which exchange of these fees are very important. And professional practice, consultancy is the more mark and then encourage self-evaluation, undertake, uh, especially this one, and we'll keep on doing this type of, of a something, you know, like uh, uh, this research, I will, uh, in, anybody can come up in a very higher level because these are very important and research this place very important role. And then finally, what happens, you know, your institution uh, plays a very important role. If you just, you know, like observe, I used to tell to my student, observe, observe, observe. So these are very important. Observation is very important. Observation, skeptical, plays a very important role, especially in the research. And then, you know, like uh, finally, maybe you can see this guy. Do you remember this guy? Everyone knows Einstein, correct? No? So uh, initial stages of Einstein uh, was uh, not too much of intelligence. And then later, is a genius, you know, that you know about the story and uh, make sure that and everyone uh, think and uh, go in a proper way or you can say observe your world and come up with a question to answer using any method. The things I am a science, uh, science professor, I will say come up with scientific method. Observe your world and come with a question to answer using the scientific method. And uh, thank you very much for uh, listening. My class almost like one hour, uh, like 35 minutes. Uh, if you have a question, because you have many questions, I know, but uh, I can answer, I try and to, uh, answer the question. So anything, thank you very much, Prabhakar. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you very much for a time. wonderful lecture. Thank you. OK, sir. Now the session is open for the discussion. So. If you have any questions, please ask one or two questions. Sir, you can put the questions on chat box. All the participants who can ask the question, you can uh, unmute yourself and ask the question to the research person. Maybe my talk has started with Jana Shatabdi. You can ask no problem because <laughs> uh, he told me to cover so many things. I don't know how yes, much I covered. Yes, sir. So, you covered all the things. Uh, well, As I mentioned. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, like some, you know, like uh, scholars or some teachers, uh, if they started or, you know, I don't know because, uh, yeah, some questions are coming now. Yes, sir. Sir, Aisha Masood asking one question. Yes, when we, 
can we use ai tools for research mm, yeah people are doing that research has started you know uh-huh. artificial intelligence has started yes yes and then see the thing is that we should be keep in the mind we should not always depend upon ai not 100% at least you should have an idea now ai has started okay ai is started and uh, they are doing and then you can get into uh, it's already implemented not a problem okay thank you sir uh, thank is you. there any question from the participants it is in the youtube yeah it's a good that uh, like call uh, you know like uh, especially doing a webinar is not so simple like i can understand but these guys pull up on one uh, researcher from uh, michigan university and other from iran and other from local area so that's very difficult i can understand but the thing is that you know like uh, doing this type of webinar really help to many people to understand because whenever the starting researchers are there you no know, they will hesitate to ask the question initially but the thing is that uh, this question you should not keep in your mind at least to get the answer that is plays a very important role if you don't uh, ask the question through online my mobile number is there and my email id is there uh, so you can send any question i may answer within like uh, five hours or two hours sometimes maybe within 24 hours not a issue okay No. Okay, then if there is one question, okay. Which one? sir yes somebody is asking the question what are the initial steps to be taken by the uh, beginners just start to read literature that's a very important read the literature and you just observe what are the things are going in around the lab if for a science guy if your arts or something else make sure that you keep an eye on the burning issues if you are a commerce or a management people make sure that you now how people are going from small scale industry to you know, higher level so first of all you need to read the literature the literature the old literature will trigger new idea so you make sure that you will get a new ideas just by reading the old literature old literature okay thank you sir another question is this sir from namita namita sara he asking sir how to mention citations in thesis is it considered in, in thesis thesis okay ha ah, is it considered for plagiarism if we mention any sentences taken from other authors work to boost our ideology yeah the thing is that you heard about show the ganga in ugc whenever you submit your thesis whole thesis will display in show the ganga in show the ganga normally what happens no people will check and people will read in shodha ganga you will have all uh, thesis which is awarded from any university especially in india uh, if any problem comes you know normally publication is the biggest issue in thesis if we just copy the work or copy the something they will figure out so make sure that you follow rep research ethics in a publication or research ethics in thesis proper quoting of citation plus very important role okay sir next question okay. came over there is, there is no question sir till now yeah uh, no problem yeah. over sir yeah. can you sir so yes. thank you very much for uh, accepting our invitation to deliver a talk on uh, research methodology sir it is a very informative and uh, enthusiastic talk for uh, researchers who are involved in the research so on behalf of government arts and science college karwar and uh, on behalf of icc cell uh, research development cell and uh, rusa i and on behalf of my own i thank professor b kumar so much sir for uh, delivering this lecture sir thank you very much sir thank, thank you, you thank much. you prabhakar all the very best all the best for prabhakar and other colleagues
thank you sir thank you very much yeah. so i, I can request... leave this coming yeah sure uh, okay sir okay thank sure. you sir thank you prabhakar thank okay. you yeah. yeah i request all the participants to switch on your video just uh, we want to take one uh, screenshot for uh, the documentation purpose so please switch so on then, your... so then one uh, speaker should be there sir if you want to take uh, oh, yes sir yes sir yes, sir you can also switch it can take you can also stay there it will help for your nac accreditation yes sir yes sir you are the nac yeah, uh, member of this one you, know, you can take it may help <laughs> yeah sure uh, okay. oh jyoti kinni madam is there yeah yes sir yes sir i know some professors uh, yes yes okay please switch on your video all the all the participants Okay. Yeah, many of them are there. Oh, 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 oh. now I'm seeing. Oh, okay. Hmm? Okay. Thank you, sir. thank you all the participants okay sir so next session technical session will be started 130 so all the part, i request all the participants to join the session with same link on 120 pm thank you